Good morning, I'm glad you be here with the 5x5 Gorilla Grow DWC. You got three plants and eight gallon buckets. We got a couple Dr. Seeds auto flowers finishing up here. And I got a mimosa champagne in the back. She's a photo, so I couldn't get the autos out on 18.6 before I got mimosa in, so I had to flower them under 12.12. And autos seem to go pretty slow on 12-12, but they can take a little more punishment of light, right? And uh, they get more rest, so that seems to help. Now, they're both flushing. I got a little yellowing on the right, that's Skittles. Left is Devil Double XL. And, uh, yeah, they are... I've been really waiting for uh, a lot longer than I expected. But I'm going to be happy with the yield. I've already flushed her for over a week. She's on her second week of flush, fresh flush. And uh, she's gonna get her second fresh flush pretty shortly. Now, look at these plants. They are bushy as hell. So, first plants I started in this setup. And it's a big tent, 25 square feet. And with small plants, you are gonna have a hard time getting humidity up in this uh, environment. You kind of gotta fill the tent, and once the tent starts getting full, uh, conditions start really improving. On top of the canopy, I got three CMH, two red bulbs, and a blue bulb, and I got a big ass filter across the hole back there. It was on sale. It's an eight-inch exhaust. It feeds upstairs, actually, the far end of the house. So here in Canada, it can be pretty cool most year round, especially overnight. And uh, I heat my house with these lights. Uh, I'm not going to let that energy go to waste. And I also got a nice uh, carbon filter intake here. That's a 4 inch. It's got a nice diffuser that works really well on the floor. We run a good 20 degrees under the canopy here. 18 degrees uh, resin temp. It's usually about 2 degrees lower than air temp. If I were to redo these, I'd definitely thin them out. But, uh, you know, hydro can just go out of control with foliage. And uh, I haven't seen any mold spots, just this uh, light burn here on her. I'm assuming it's light burn. I don't, I don't see it underneath the top, but I just don't. It's, it's just on top. So she was a little sensitive to these three CMH lights, which are as high as they can go. Well, what else? Yeah, this tent here, um, my first first plants I went in it were covered in powdery mildew. And as a precaution, I've actually taken some furnace filters and cut them up so that they fit over the intakes. This one's actually about to be changed. It's starting to darken up. I'm noticing a little more vacuum on the tent. Running the 8 and the 4 inch on the same controller. She's not plugged her in right now. I gotta plug her in. I just have a little smoke before this video. Oh. There we go. And because they're different sizes, they can run on the same speed controller, speed temp controller, and uh, you will get a nice offset of airflow. And it still allows you to get some passive intake around each edge of the tent. So I've got the diffuser in the center underneath shooting up and all around to the sides from the center out and then there's the passive intake on one two three sides and with a bunch of fans up here trying to blow anything that's cool air up here as the CMH really throws the heat downwards so there's not a ton of heat at the top of the tent so much kind of got to blow it out and get that cool air coming up from the side I've I seem to have found a happy place with the uh, air movement anyways. It can be tricky and take some time to uh, figure out. But yeah, that's where we're at. Protect your grow. Grow lots. Have fun. Peace.